Hello there peoples of the internet, it is your boy as always, it's Hulk Gigai, back in at it again with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series 100 Bumblebee. And uh, just before we get started on the review, I want to say something really quick and get, some, get something out of the way. I do apologize for this review being out a little bit late. Um, I was going to do a post about it, but I mean, I had to do like, very, like a verification thing on YouTube saying like, oh, I'm a real person, not a robot, whatnot. Even though I showed my face on this app before, I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, so I couldn't post anything there. That's why the only post I was able to do was the one with the voting poll. This one, or the Fallen. So this one was the one that I got for my birthday. So thank you all. Well, to my parents anyway. But anyways, yeah, um, that's, that's just something I wanted to get out of the way really quick. But anyways, let's go take a look at this figure because he is 100 of Studio Series. That's right, Studio Series has finally reached number 100 on their list, so that's a good thing. Um, anyways, we have, uh, raise the camera up a little bit so I got some more room to operate. Uh, there we go, that's good. Okay. Yeah, Transformers Rise of the Beast up top. Bumblebee, Studio Series 100, Bumblebee, Transformers on the side, Generations to Car Tommy, Bumblebee on the side, Autobot logo, Bumblebee 100, Deluxe Class, Studio Series, Transformers Rise of the Beast up top, and back of the box. Yeah, Bumblebee. Oh, excuse me, I literally just got done eating dinner, so I do apologize. Um, yeah, Bone will be right there. Bone will be in his vehicle commode and his bio. The camera will focus. Oh, great. So it's coming with another one of those videos where the camera's not going to focus. Come on, camera. Anyways, Bone will be blast back hordes of Terracons in a heroic final stand. And I'm just kind of meh. I don't really like that bio, but yeah. Um, it's all right. But yeah, enough of the, bo enough of the box. Put the box off to the side. And we will take a look at the figure itself. Here is Bumblebee, uh, his off-road um, form anyway, his off-road vehicle form. So yeah, looking pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool if I do say so myself. Um, really quick, I'm gonna go fix the camera a little to figure out what's wrong with the focus. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did fix that, so um, there we go. Um, something is rattling over here. I think it stopped it, anyways, um, yeah. I did fix the quality, so there you go. It is now very much in, in focus. So yeah, um, here's our photo bumblebee. Um, looking cool, looking cool, looking fresh, fresh to death. I like it. I really do like this vehicle mode. This is a nice glow up from the original 2007 bumblebee, and I really do like it. But let's get closer on the details. You have some gunmetal paint there for the headlights. Some the front bumper, looking cool, looking cool. Uh, mine came a bit warped. But it's perfectly fine because the vehicle mode was like that. I mean, not the vehicle mode. The ro the robot, I'll show you uh, why it's like that in the ro in the robot mode. I'm sorry. But yeah. The classic Michael Bay striping there. You have some a wide body kit put on it. That's automatically a W. You have clip on wheels on both sides. I know the robot cable is kind of annoying, but we'll get to that in a little bit. I'm on mine. The roof doesn't like to sit perfectly flush because you just let a bit of a gap right there. But I guess it's not a deal breaker. You do have the roll cage right there with the roof headlights, with the roof lights. The color matching isn't too bad. You can't really, can't really see it. But I mean, it, it, is, it does show a little bit in person, but I mean, it's not too bad on camera. I do like how they included his little, um, uh, what's, uh, whatever it's called, on the roof. I do like the little bit of detail. You have the rear. Leeway, Lilvers, whatever they're called. I forgot what they're called. Have the back painted in black. Nice. I do like it. But overall, yeah, it is a very cool um, B. I do like it. I do like this vehicle mode. And I do like how the interior is, I mean, I can't see anything on it. And like, as far as robot parts, I mean, I do like that little bit of um, uh, mechanics they did for the transformation. But yeah, there is the front. There is the side, there is the back, other side, the top, and the bottom. We're going to take a look at the arms because, I mean, yeah, they do stick out quite a bit. Um, and that is due to the transformation, how this guy transforms. Obviously, this is not clear plastic like the other Studio Series Bumblebees that we have gotten. Oh, excuse me. This is solid plastic, so they obviously... This is probably going to be the only Bumblebee that we have as as far as different leg transformation um so yeah that's why i guess that's why the legs transform the way they do 
and the arms I can't really say too much about the arms I mean I get there are like they're, they're like that for the, the robot motors is completely understandable I don't have a problem with it but I, it, I mean it doesn't look too bad from certain angles but I, at the same time I do wish that um, the, the arms could hide away in a better position but it's perfectly fine um, he does roll decently well the back tires don't like to roll too much and as far as balancing goes it's not too bad but yeah um, now for some comparisons because we're, we're just gonna go through the uh, bumblebees here here he is with the high octane bumblebee one of my personal favorites as far as vehicle modes for this bee goes here he is with the Autobot 5 pack to the 2007 uh, B, see quite different in shades of yellow. Here he is with the Dark of the Moon B, um, the one that came out like during Dark of the Moon, like 2012 or something like that. I think, uh, but as you can see, very different different uh, shades of yellow they have going on. This is more of an orangey yellow, while this is a more of a actual uh, bright yellow. As you can see, size comparisons. I mean, this one is pretty hefty compared to this one. Um, I still love this figure, not gonna lie. Um, but I mean, this one comes close. We'll get to that later though. Now, for the last and probably most important comparison, here he is with the Bumblebee movie, um, 2007 Camaro B with the Rise of the Beast um, Bumblebee. As you can see, very, very different as far as colors go and as far as vehicles go. Obviously, this one has more of an off road look to it. And obviously jacked up a little bit in height. Give you a little 360 here. See what's what, what has changed, and what has stayed the same. So there you have that. And as far as the lights go, um, as you can see, different. This one is more of a blue. This one is more of a uh, silver, which is not bad at all. As you can see, the hoods are basically the same. Transformations are quite different as far as the legs go like i said this one has the clear plastic to worry about while this one has solid plastic to worry about so obviously the transformations are going to be a little bit different i excuse myself sorry about that but yeah um they're probably around the same size um but as far as height goes this one obviously is, is taller thanks to the bigger wheels and that's and as far and it has oh, i'm sorry <laughs> i can't find the words um uh, the wheels sit lower So yeah, this one's obviously gonna be higher, but yeah, there you have that. So put him off to the side And as far as weapon storage goes um, You can take the sword and just plug it in uh, There's a tab in the slot right there So just plug that in. That's how that stores and the gun This, this I forget which way it is all, all the time. I think it's like this isn't it? Yeah, there you go just clips in like that and there you go i don't really like the story right here because of the fear i have a fear of it damaging the paint at the bumper so i don't really like the story right here i did try to store it in here because there's like no space in there so i was like oh free real estate and it didn't work but it's okay but i'll go more over the buttons later when we go into ro into robot mode and as far as robot mode goes um let's go ahead and uh get us started so uh as far as the robot mode goes you're going to want to open the doors, like so. Basic one will be stuff. Bring the arms down, bring the front wheels out, clip them, just like that. Bring the arms out, just like that. Bring the arms out, straighten the arms. This always does scare me because my uh, my copy is, it is very tight ball joints. So I would advise caution when doing that. Next, if it hasn't done it for you already, just unclip the hood and everything. Well, just um, bring the bring this top. So you can't see what I'm doing. None of y'all can. I'm sorry. I do apologize for that. Bring the top section up like that, and then we'll start working on the leg euler region. So what you want to do is grab from the back, split that apart, and everything else to just follow, just like that. I would advise doing that because um, first time transforming like this, you can see if the light was shining on it. Uh, there's not much of a stress mark so far, which I'm glad. Uh, but I would advise caution when doing that. Just like, don't like pull it apart. Just like, to give it a little squeeze, you know. And let's work on the legs now. So, what you want to do is just grab the foot, bring it down, and then 
slide it in to where that joint is perf is sitting perfectly straight. Rotate the foot. Uh, bring rotate that down. Make sure the um, bumper. Oops, you can't see that. Make sure the bumper with the gap is like facing um, towards the floor. Bring this in, just like that. If you want, you can straighten the foot out. That's what I always end up doing anyway. And there you go. So, same thing with the other side. Bring the foot down, rotate it, and beware if you do not straighten this joint out, then this will not close in. So always make sure that joint is straight, and then it'll close up perfectly fine. Uh, rotate that down, straighten the foot out, and there you go. You have the legular region all done. So we will work on the upper the upper body now. I'm going to want to take the headlight sections and then just push up, just like that. Pretty easy. Next, rotate. I mean, not rotate. Bring this down while bringing this back. And but you don't want to bring it all the way back. You want to fold in the hood, fold in the front windshield section, and then bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, I forget. It always gets caught on the ears because I mean they are um, sculpted at an angle. So just be aware of that. Fold it in and bring it down. Now, really quick, the why. This is why the front bumper is at a slight angle is because these pieces rest here and they kind of stretch out the plastic a little bit. Instead of being like this, they go out a little bit, which is perfectly fine. And it's not a deal breaker. Clip that in, um, clip the, head six, the headlight section in, just like that. Straighten him all out, straighten him out. I me mean, personally, I'd always like to have the door wings flat out a little bit, give him a little more personality. And there you go, there you have the Studio Series Rise of the Beast Bumblebee in his robot mode. And he looks really, really cool in my opinion. I love this robot mode. I love the movie in general. This is, uh, I love all the robots in, in general. Um, this is a very, very different design for Bumblebee, for Bumblebee as far as like the legs go. I mean, obviously they're from the, the Bumblebee movie fused with the 2007 vibe, which I'm perfectly fine with. It gives a nice semi-wet, fresh, fresh breath of air. I'm sorry, my tongue got cut. <laughs> but yeah, overall, he just looks very, very cool. Now, um, let's go ahead and get to the uh, details. Now, as you can see, uh, my head was fully painted. There is a variant out there, apparently. So I got the, uh, the better variant, I suppose which is, has a fully sculpted face, which looks a hundred times better than what we got in the first place. But yeah, scope wise, very, very cool. I do like it. I kind of wish he had like a small Autobot logo printed, not painted, but just printed there. It would have been cool. But I mean, I guess it's like foreshadowing what happened to him after when his figure got, um, after Scourge stabbed him, um, when his figure got released or leaked this. Well, yeah, I guess it leaked. You have some silver there for the arms, looking really cool. Lots of nice painted on this paint on this guy. Nice sculpted details too. Lots of nice sculpted details as well here in the necular region. Very very cool. And the ears right there. Like I said, I had the door wings played out a little bit just to give him more of like personality. Have the uh, abs right there, well, the abular region. Looking cool, looking cool. Nice sculpted details. Some silver there. They have the wheels here, the um, rear fender. Some more silver. Silver there for the boot. I don't really like how this is done. I mean, it, could, it does look a tad bit sloppy. Um, but again, again, it's not a deal breaker. I'm not complaining too much. Some sculpted details right here for the foot. And yeah, you have the rear bumper there. As far as backpack goes, standard B backpack. Not too much to come to uh, hinder his articulation. Speaking of articulation, let's go ahead and get into it. He does have a ball joint at the head. Um, side to side, kinda, not too much as far as side to side. You can look up a decent amount, down a decent amount. Head can't do a full 360 you might need to finesse it but I don't want to break it um, arms very stiff which is one thing I do like about this figure um, it is very um, sturdy in hand it's not loose like um, the uh, five-pack bumblebee anyways 
you have ball joints at the at the arms, and I do like how the arms are how they work. I do quite like that. They're not at this particular joint, but they are like that to give them a little bit more range of movement. Because I feel like if because I feel like if the joint was right here, then he wouldn't have that much range of movement. So I am glad that they were able to incorporate a deeper um, or well, a much wider range of posing in the arms. Arms can do a full 360. Like I said, I need to finesse it. Well, I don't need to finesse it. I mean, just need to like work around the um, the kibble. I do have bicep rotation. Arms can go a little over 90 degrees of bend there. I do wish she had a wrist rotation, but it's fine. It's not a deal breaker. Um, we do have waist rotation. And, and I would advise caution around this. Um, first time trying something, yeah, I snapped his waist in half. It is pretty easy to uh, do. So I would advise caution when doing that. It might just be my copy, but like I said, advise caution when doing that. When like transforming him and rotating his waist. But yeah, waist rotation, just like that. Here I do have thigh rotation, which is very, very um, good range, good range. I do like it. I do have about 90 degrees of bend there at the leg. And uh, I don't want the thigh. Uh, now for the feet, you do have ankle pivot, and I do believe this is one of the first studio series Bumblebees that doesn't have front and back pivot. You do have rotation in the ankle joint, in the ankle joint, but no range of forward and back, which is kind of a disappointment, but it's perfectly fine. You might not have gotten much out of it anyway due to the spoiler colliding in with the back of the car here. In front, you probably could have gotten a lot in the front, but yeah, that's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Now, as far as um, weapons, well, yeah, let's go do weapons. As far as, as weapons go, he does come with this blade, a Bumblebee movie reference. I do kind of wish it came with two blasters instead of the blade, but it's fine. There's some nice sculpted there, unpainted, which is kind of a disappointment, but it's okay. I figured if they did have a variant, then they would at least painted the blade but it just clips on there on either side you do have two tabs and a slot on either hand two tabs and a slot so you can clip it on on whichever hand you do desire and you do have a his blaster well one of his blasters uh, sculpted in yellow and painted over in grayish plastic giving it that little brown look it's not too bad I can just plug it in to his hand and just like that he is ready to jump out of a plane and rejoin the lobby and you can plug it in on both hands if you do want to get to other bumblebees and recreate that scene then go ahead you can uh, recreate it um, you can't put the gun on this hand like that you do have to flip it around because it is sculpted at a certain um, in a certain way to where you can't plug it in on both hands like that which is perfectly fine. As far as weapon storage goes, um, I don't really know much about this honestly, so I do apologize for doing it wrong. I believe his gun stores like that, and his blade might store uh, somewhere. Uh, it doesn't store anywhere. I don't think it stores anywhere. Yeah, like I said, I didn't look at the instructions because I never, I never look at the studio series instructions anymore because they kind of suck. Um, but he does have a port in his butt, so if one he can do some aerial poses, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm not seeing anywhere where you could store this. Maybe just shove it in right there. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, it's yours. Do what you wish, but we're going to have Bumblebee wielding his sword, his arm blade, and his gun. And now, for some comparisons, here he is with the Studio Series High Octane Bumblebee. And yeah, they look good together. I do like how they're always able to um, incorporate this little bit that they have. It is green accurate, which I am, as you can see, um, very different in uh, size. This one is obviously more taller, just the, the length of your legs. Um, but yeah, overall, I would pick this one over this one any day, honestly. I do like this Camaro um, in the movie, but I would pick this one over the High Octane one any day. But yeah, there's the High Octane and the Rise of the Beast together. Here he is with the Studio Series 5-pack Bumblebee. I hate transforming this thing. 
Anyways, um, yeah, obviously, the, I think the Rise of Beast one is a little bit shorter. Yeah, he's definitely a little bit shorter than the uh, five pack one will be. But overall, this one just blows this one out of the water. Anyway, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. We're going to do something. We're going to do something. That's my boy. Um, but yeah, this one is better. Miles better over this one. Just, just, no, no, no. Wouldn't, wouldn't take it. Mm. But yeah, okay, fine. I'll start going hard on him. There, there's that comparison. Here he is with the Dark of the Moon Deluxe Bumblebee. And honestly, it was a close call because this used to be my favorite Bumblebee figure. But now that title goes to this one, it does. I've decided um, that this one is my, now my favorite Bumblebee. This one is a very, very close first. I just like how his engineering is. It's not complicated. It's easy. It's a fun fiddle toy to flip back and forth. It's it, it's a it's a fun figure. Also, light piped eyes, which is always a W. Um, but yeah, the only thing that brings this figure down is the back cable. It's not the greatest, but as from from the time being, from the date, um, it was good. So I will give it that. But this one just it's just it's just a little bit better, in my opinion. It's 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 a little bit it's a little better. And finally, here he is with the 2007, uh, well, kinda, 2007, um, the Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee, um, Camaro. Um, yeah, as you can see, the light transformation is very different. Um, like I said, because this one had to deal with the clear plastic, while this one had to do with, deal with the solid plastic. So I'm pretty sure this transformation won't stick around long, but, I mean, it's, it's still a cool transformation. I do dig it. And also, I mean, this one doesn't... It's not as freaking loose as this, as this one is. This one is a lot more sturdier than this one. It is it does feel a lot more denser um, than, than this one does. But yeah, overall, I mean, this one just, it's not good. I prefer this one. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess, you, I guess you have a before and after of what happened to, Bum to Bumblebee. Stain, you idiot. There. But yeah, overall, I would prefer this one any day over the... Um, this one, because this one is just, it's not, and then, no, 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 look at it, can't even stand, no, you know what, we gonna do the same thing too, we gonna do the same thing too, he got shot, and just because here is a quick, uh, qu what, a quick, <laughs> there, here is a quick group shot of the um, the mo the bumblebees I own. This is not all of them. I do have more, but this is all the ones I I wanted to do for the comparisons and whatnot. But yeah, here they are all together. Got daddy long legs over here. Also got daddy long legs over here. You got the best one over here. You got the favorite child. You got the middle child, and you got the uh, the, the um no, you got the youngest child, always favorite. You got the middle child, and you got the oldest child. So there you go. So there's that nice family group picture of all the bumblebees I, I own. Well, most of them. But yeah, that's basically it. So with that being said, there is the Studio Series 100 Rise of the... I, was a, I messed that up so badly. <laughs> there is the Studio Series Rise of the Beast 100 Bumblebee. And overall, this is a very, very fun figure. Um, if Honestly, I would get it anywhere. I mean, my Walmart's have been having it in stock for a while. I guess that's why they found it. So, um, yeah, obviously I would get the variant version because it's in the face just doesn't look as possessed as the original one did. So, yeah, definitely look out for the variant one. Like I said, the only minor detail is the face paint. But besides, you can't see that. But besides that, I mean, everything else is just basically the same. But yeah, overall, I would highly, highly recommend you buy this. It is only twenty dollars, so if you want to, if you're fine to spend, yeah, I cannot speak today. <laughs> if you're fine, if you're fine to spend twenty dollars, then go ahead and buy this. I wasn't disappointed with this figure. Then this is a solid, well put together figure. Paint wise, I would give it a nine point five out of ten. Kind of wish she had a little bit more on the arms, like the thumb. It's just kind of, kind of weird how they did that. Actually, no, we'll give, we'll, give, we'll give it a solid ten. We'll give it a solid ten. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, and I mean, this is only nitpick, so I guess 9.5 because of sword, but I mean, I don't really use the sword as much. 
transformation, a solid 10. Don't even get it started on a transformation. That's a solid 10 of transformation. Um, articulation 9.5. Kind of wish you had a small wrist rotation or the pivot for the feet. But yeah, I'm deducting 5 points off of that. Um, let's see, I did paint wise. Oh, sculpt wise, 10 out of 10 as well. Uh, posability that can go to articulation, but. Um, yeah, I mean, look-wise, it's just very, very cool. It's a very fun Bumblebee to mess with. And hey, it's in my 100 of the Studio Series line, so that's that. But yeah, that's basically it. So, um, would I recommend this? Absolutely, yes. Um, overall rating, I would give it a solid 10 out of 10. Solid 10 out of 10 right there. Possibly my favorite Studio Series figure. Possibly, maybe. Shh. Anyways, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notifications so you can stay tuned on what's to come. And I will catch you guys in the next one. I apologize for this video being released a little bit late. So, um, yeah, stay safe, to, um, stay safe, turn on those notifications if you haven't already so you can stay tuned on what's to come. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, until all are one. And let them come. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years, you're fucking a I have come here to...